Good evening and welcome to Visions. I'm Megan Searle and our guests this evening are Kurt Esser and Jesse Taylor from the Justice Project. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Hi, Megan. Hi. Now, for those vi um, viewers who didn't see us last time, can you just give us a little bit of a, a background to the Justice Project? Certainly. The Justice Project was started in 2004. Our founders were people such as Jesse, um, mm -hmm. uh, Julian Burnside QC, uh, Malcolm Fraser, the former Prime Minister, uh, Professor uh, Julian Triggs was also one of the founding members, and we had a couple of other people involved in uh, things such as media, and we had a, an expert on um, on visas, uh, Sally Webster. It's a very powerful team, isn't it? We had a, a small but powerful team, yeah. We're a not-for-profit organisation, and we decided from the word go that we'd be business-like, so we became incorporated, and we have an office, um, and we're a human rights organisation. We campaign for human rights. Yes. We regard ourselves principally as a campaign organisation and a campaign company. And although we're young, we regard ourselves as quite grown up. Oh. We've got an office, <laughs> we've got a public officer, we've got very competent people we think at the helm of this organisation and uh, we have a massive infused of energy from people, young people such as Jesse, yeah. who are a fountain of ideas and fountain of energy and uh, we think we've got the right mix of uh, experience, leadership and energy. And what sort of what sort of causes? Well, we spoke last last time about different causes that you have worked on. So, th what was the first one again? That we our first project dated from our inception, 2004. We had a quite concentrated campaign on the 2004 electoral uh, electoral campaign uh, for the general election. The idea was that um, we wanted to be heard to strike a blow for the cause of refugee law reform. All the founders of the Justice Project regarded the idea of uh, refugee law reform as being the most important issue facing the electorate at that election. Regrettably, we noticed that none of the major parties were in, interested at all in talking about, even mentioning, the idea of refugee law reform. We thought it was a blot on society. Yes. We thought that something had to be done about it, and we were determined to dig up what the major parties wanted to bury. They didn't want to talk about it. We wanted to put it before the people of Australia yes. and to allow people to make up their own mind about whether they were happy with the regime of um, mandatory detention, uh, the impossibility really of people using the courts as a way out of detention and uh, we therefore regarded uh, refugee law reform as the most important thing for that campaign. Thereafter, we decided that we would get more involved in the idea of a Charter of Rights. There was a group already started in Melbourne called the Charter Group. That operated under the leadership of Professor Spencer Zivkak. And Spencer and his friends had done a lot to lobby the Victorian government for a Victorian-based Charter of Human Rights. Um, happily, their work was exceedingly well done, and the Justice Project decided about a year ago that it would provide leadership and provide backup and be a secretariat for the Charter Group and all sorts of other concerned citizens in Victoria who really wanted to see the enactment of a Charter of Bill of Rights which was state-based. Oh. So we did that last year and uh, things seem to be happening quite nicely. And that's what we're going to talk about a bit more tonight, which is fantastic. Now this is the draft, or this is the Charter of the Rights and Responsibilities, is that...? Yes. Um, Professor George Williams um, reported late last year uh, yeah. a serious looking document yes, um, it's very serious looking. and um, it's it's a good read yeah. um, and I would recommend that people have a good look at it it's available on our website um, www.thejusticeproject.com.au there's yes. a link to that um, and people are encouraged Victorians and people elsewhere are encouraged to have a really good look at it and to get back to our friends the politicians and if they want to tweak it they should Excellent. and this is the opportunity that we have at the moment to uh, to talk about how it might be adjusted. But there's a, a draft act there, yeah. and it makes great reading. It's quite exciting, isn't yeah. it, Jess? And now that it has actually been released, what, what is the likely outcome from that, Jess? Perhaps? Well, luckily, the, um, the state government and all the relevant players and the public and a lot of people have responded to it really very positively. Um, we're hoping that it will um, get 
quite a good look in in the autumn session of Parliament and hopefully shortly thereafter will become law, which is really, really exciting. That is exciting. If it does become legislation, what, what can we be likely to see? Like what effect will that have on us? Well, we are hoping that it will come into... Well, the bill says that if it is enacted, it will come into effect on the 1st of January 2007, yes. most of it, yes. with sort of other bits staggered to come into effect a little bit later to get us used to the whole idea. Um, but it has just some some protections of rights that we probably would consider to be quite important already. Um, yes. Things like uh, freedom from, you know, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of association. Uh, there's protection of, of liberty and, and certain other rights. And these there's, are ones that we do take for granted, or we think we, that we, we have do. our rights at the moment. That's right. But unfortunately, there are some some laws that have been enacted or that are looking to be enacted that sort of would tend to impinge upon those rights. So we think that having this statutory protection of those rights is really important and very exciting and it's a great step forward for Victoria. Yes, it is. So One of the things, for example, that uh, George Williams has recommended is that there should be a declared right that all Victorians are free of an obligation, perhaps, of double jeopardy. I mean, double yes. jeopardy has always been something that we've taken for granted, but uh, the past has shown that governments have quite opportunistically come in and legislated where we don't have a guarantee of rights. And so George Williams thought it was quite appropriate um, to restate these things which we'd all thought were part of our common law tradition and heritage. Now, on double jeopardy, can you just explain that a little bit more for us? just means that a person who's been convicted of one crime yes. can't be reconvicted of the same crime. Mm -hmm. I mean, just in case more evidence comes up or... Exactly. Yeah. Um, it can happen. But it's always been part of the fabric and yeah. part of what we have regarded as our birthright as yes. Australians and people who have come from a common law tradition, we've always thought that this kind of thing is, is obviously yeah, part of what we yeah, have. Right. But the way in which the government, for example, has um, legislated about mandatory detention um, and trampled over people's rights and trampled over internationally protected rights um, has caused George and others to think, well, it is time for us to really Put restate, in to restate these right. basic things. There's another exa interesting example, for example, uh, in the Act, or the Draft Act as it is, there's um, a guarantee that people won't be charged with criminal offences that weren't on the statute books at the time that the offence or the action took place. Yes. Now that's always been thought to be, at least with respect to criminal law, part of our birthright as well. But um, the way things have happened more recently, it was thought appropriate to state this as a principle that uh, we should abide by. So it's a most important document and will require quite a lot of um, education. That's incredible how many things we actually do take for granted, isn't it? It is. Okay, we'll just hold you there. You're watching Visions. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 